Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cover. welcome to Series I teach you how to build this called the Pop-Up Video Server. Today we are talking about removing links and images from chat channels and stuff. Uh, so let's get into it. We're going to go back to our ModCog that we've been in for the past 18 years. Uh, and we're going to make another import. Uh, this one is actually part of, of, a, of a Python vanilla. It's RE. So from RE import search, we're going to do the links first. We're going to check the links first. <clears throat> we're going to come down here. And we're going to come in here. And we're going to say, uh, so if the message contains profanity, then we can get rid of it. However, if it doesn't contain profanity, um, then we want to check to see if it's a link. So we need to have a, uh, we need to use something called regular expressions, uh, which is what the RE is. I'm not going to explain regular expressions right now. I might do a video on them at some point. <clears throat> uh, but I'm not going to explain regular expressions. One, because they're actually really damn complicated and hard to understand. And two, because the specific regular expression we're going to be using is insane. Uh, URL uh, regexes are ridiculous. Um, so I'm not even going to try and explain what's going on in it. Um, yeah, we're just going to uh, do the code and then we're going to uh, put the regex in later. So we can do, uh, we imported search, didn't we? Not match. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. Uh, so search will go through and it will search to check if something's true. Because we just want to check if a link is actually there. Um, so if search uh, message dot content, nope, that's wrong. Uh, we're just going to have uh, a URL regex for now, which is going to be a U, um, a, a function that we define uh, in a bit, uh, not a function, uh, a, a variable, that's the one, and we're going to check it against message.content. Uh, so if this is true, there is a link there, and we want to message.delete uh, away the message.channel.send. Uh, you can't send links in this channel, and then we're going to say delete after equals like 10 or something. We're going to do the same thing for this as well. Delete after equals 10. Cool. Uh, so we might also potentially want to uh, check or we might want to like disallow links from certain channels or something like that. So we go in here, go into Discord and I'm in completely the wrong server. I'm going to have to black out the screen for a second. <laughs> uh, do do do. Call them in. Fantastic. Um, to say we don't want links in welcome or goodbye. These are two channels we don't want links in. So we can copy the ID here. And we can just create a list of them uh, somewhere. Uh, the on ready, we don't need to do it on the on ready really, do we? We can kind of do it in the init. Yeah, we can just kind of do it in the init. Because uh, we're only going to use the IDs for this because we don't want to spend a whole lot of memory doing this. Um, to do self dot uh, no links, I don't know. <laughs> uh, equals an array of oh, it'd be a tuple doesn't need to be an array uh, or a list. Um, Python technically doesn't have arrays, does it? Cool. So we don't want them in in the thingy thingy. Uh, so we can do and message dot channel dot id in self dot no links. Uh, we actually probably want to do that check first <laughs> because that's that's a lot cheaper than the, the uh, than the regex search. Um, so what checking here is to make sure that it's in a channel we don't want any links. Um, or you can set channels that you do want links actually. So you can set this no links to like uh, self dot links allowed or something, and set you know that's probably a better way of doing it in all complete honesty. Um, there we go. So we can go over here. We want links in standard out and we want them in logs because why not? Um, why the hell not? Cool. So we actually now want to check uh, if not in self dot links allowed. There we go. So you can do it either way you want, uh, or you can have a system for both if you are if you want to make it a little more complicated. So uh, we're checking to make sure that the uh, the message. Oh God, sorry. The message channel is. Uh, not allowing links. So if it's not allowing links, we then check to see if the message actually has a link in it. If it does, we delete the message and we send you can't send links in that channel. But we still need 
our URL, URL sorry, uh, regex. So we could probably, if you probably want to assign it to the cog as well, to be honest. So we'll have self come up here, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up into our thing, and then we'll have, oops, come on, uh, self dot URL regex. And um, brace yourself for what you're about to see because it is this. <laughs> It is this colossal thing here. I was doing a little bit of testing to make sure this all worked. Um, <laughs> but it is. <laughs> um, as I said, I'm not going to do much explaining here. I can kind of. Oh, God. I, I understand. I know what all the symbols are, <laughs> but I just don't know. I can't really follow the logic with it because it's just so complicated. Um. I don't know what this bit at the start is. <laughs> this is a weird bit. Um, but yeah, essentially, it's just it's just going through and trying to match a URL pattern. So it might have a HTTPS, it might have a www, it might have something else, it might have a dot here, or it probably will have a dot here. They don't have any degree of characters to a certain extent, and then it was to all this. I actually have no idea what most of it. I think this is all sub stuff. I think these are all like subdirectories, and then I have no idea what any of this is. I think this is query strings, but I really, I, I, I can kind of understand that. But all you need to know is that that works. <laughs> it just does, okay. In the words of Todd Howard, it just works. Um, so we go in here and to say we post our uh, our Discord invite here. So we can do uh, bit actually slash carve Discord. If you type that into your browser, you will genuinely get invited to your Discord to my Discord. See, I told you. But if we put the same thing in here, we can't send links in this channel, and of course we get logged for it as well. Um, and that works. If you just do, uh, so say, join my Discord, so I can't be asked for capitalizations. Join my Discord server, it it dies as well. Um, it also works. For, I'm not sure if it works if a link. Uh, okay, it doesn't work. It has to be like an actual link. Um, that I imagine it's probably the same regex that Discord is actually using to to do a, a link check to, to see if it needs to be highlighted blue um, but yeah that's link stuff it is pretty easy but the, the, the I wouldn't even try to understand that regex if, you, if you're curious about regex there is actually a pretty good python how to um, so if I go to like uh, python regex I don't know if this is the best documentation for it but this python expression how to is actually how I learn more or less what regex does so there's quite a lot of it here and it also shows you the python implementations of everything too but it does tell you what regex is to at least a decent level um some of you get to look up if you're curious about them <clears throat> but now we're going to check for images and we're going to have uh so self images allowed we're actually going to use the same channels because i'm lazy um <laughs> But it's it'll st we'll still be able to test it. So if there isn't a link, and then we can check to see if there's a, a, a file in there. So we can do that. So if len attachments. Um, so each message object has a list of attachments. Um, don't I actually do message dot attachments. That would probably be useful. I also need to make it a plural. That'd be useful too. Um, which is basically kind of a series of objects. That are attachments. So we can just do. You can either do um, uh, if len uh, message attachments, which will just grab any attachment at all, or uh, you can do for each attachment. Uh, you can check to see. You can do like, a, for example, uh, if we could do like a for a in message dot attachments. Say uh, if has atra a width then it's an image um, <clears throat> so you can do that and you can do that to specifically target images um, where I might do that just to have it in really 
Um, so we could do. I don't know, we'll just leave that as that. Uh, await message dot delete. So we can do. We can actually do that a bit better because you don't need to iterate through them all. We can kind of just do uh, if any um, has atra uh, a. There we go. I completely forgot what I was doing then. <laughs> with for a in message dot attachments. Uh, we don't actually need this check actually, do we? There we go. That's a bit more efficient. Um, because if uh, if it's empty, then it will just return a completely empty list, which I believe uh, returns false. Yes, it does. And I don't know why I already had an idle open. <laughs> um, I, uh, I often use the idle shell just for tests. I find it quite convenient. Uh, message dot channel that send you can't send images here oh god delete after equals 10 um, so yeah this will check to see uh, for the message attachments if any of them have an attribute of width uh, so if you want to check any attachments at all you can just do len message attachments whatever but we're specifically checking images here um, so we will quickly just go in. So if I upload, oh, I need to find an image. Dot give me one second. Okay, so uh, I have an image here. It's a particularly nice image I took of a uh, of where I go to uni. And if I send that, in, oh my god, it's enormous though. <laughs> this is a bad choice. Um, we can't send images there. Uh, Unfortunately, the log the log system doesn't pick up if ah that's a problem with the previous episode, <laughs> not this one. I might have to make a twelve. I might is it, was that episode twelve? I don't even know. What episode was it? I might have to make a point five of that episode. Uh, there are a few episodes I'm gonna have to make point five of. Um, that's not something we have to worry about right now. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we allowed images. I'm pretty sure we allowed images there, though, didn't we? <laughs> Come to think of it, actually, oh, I never, um, I never did a check. So if <laughs> that would help, if message dot channel dot id, uh, not oh, we can actually do. We can actually just make like a universal check almost. Um, <clears throat> oh no, we can't because it's a different list. Never mind. Uh, so we do need to make a quick check. Not in self dot images allow to make sure and oh that's going on that's going too far now I'm gonna tuple that out that works <laughs> uh, I normally do like to get rid of trading spaces though because I don't like them so if the channel is not in images allowed and it has an image in it then we get rid of it so we'll do that test again real quick because that one should have actually uploaded uh, now online if we just upload the same image again so you actually get to see it this time. <coughs> do, 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 when it uploads. There we go, so it moves stays. Very nice. It's, it's a very nice sunset over in that direction. Um, but yeah, that image stays. If we were to upload this, a different image, because I can't be asked to wait for it. Oh my god. That's just this is just a random image I found on the internet, but it's a lot smaller. There you go, you can't send images here. I'll log the error again, but that's not the point that's not the point. Um <coughs> we get error code there can't send images here um, but yeah that is how to get rid of um, uh, images and, and links in in a uh, in discord or pi there we go I completely forgot the name of the honestly this lockdown recently has been messing in my brain I'm just so lazy and just out of it all the time um, <clears throat> uh, but yeah that's how you do that uh, if you like the video then say hello down below uh, if you have any questions or comments to leave them down below as well or you can join our discord server using the link in the description or the link that i um, uh, use as a test for our link system uh, if you really like the video consider subscribing hitting the notification bell so you get uh, notified of future uploads and if you really really like the video consider supporting me on patreon if you don't have to but of course it would be a cool thing of you to do next time we're talking about kicking banning and muting members automatically and in that we're going to be doing our spam detection uh, mechanism and using the the auto kicks, auto bans, and auto mutes as our um, 
as kind of a an action to take against that in a way. Um, so yeah, I'll see you then.